I'm gonna watch some more of The Expanse. And I, I really hope my cactus guy is alive. I don't even know his name. Holden's um, caught up in a predicament, man. I mean, you still don't know where the hell Julie is. And, you know, there was a scene when he was leaving that girl. Like, did she, she, she wouldn't do that, would she? To be like, see the, how nice he is and be like, she does not have a very good streak with men, that a girl. There was another guy who was dead in her room. And then now that guy's dead. Uh, or maybe he's alive. I don't know. I don't know if they can do that. I feel like a lot of these shows now, if somebody dies, I, I don't know that I can trust it. <laughs> I have to wait like two, three, four, five, maybe the end of the season for me to be convinced that they're dead. I mean, who, a Game of Thrones has, has fucked me over in that way. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Are we going to find out who's following them? I mean, we know it wasn't Mars that did that to the Cant. The Canterbury. Yeah. Pretty excited though to keep watching, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start going, I suppose. But before we begin, I wanna go ahead and do a shout out for the patrons, cause you guys are awesome. <laughs> Every time I'm just gonna come up with a weird jingle. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's my jingle of the day. <laughs> gonna go ahead and uh, start this so I can try and catch up to my dad. I'm gonna have to tell him to slow the F down. Slow down. I'm on four. This is CQB. I don't know what that stands for. C series Q, Q belt. <laughs> I don't know what it stands for. That's okay. Damn. He looks like a vampire. I don't know why. Something about him. He's a Cullen. Why is he attending to this guy in particular? You know, there's no religious directive on file, so okay if I recycle him? Factory on 30 and some fertilizer. Not yet. Yeah, no, I think he needs them for some. Is there any connection that I missed between him and her besides that he was on her Tinder, I think? How do you know they're coming for Naomi? We don't. Yeah. You're just guessing Naomi's okay. Yeah. Too. We both know this better than a guess. She is the best liar amongst all of you by far. And she is hiding something. You can sense that too. But because of you, Earth thinks we destroyed it. Yeah? Some people are calling it an act of war. You need to recant. Blame Nagata. True or not, it will change the narrative until cooler heads prevail and figure Ooh, out. Ooh, uh, he's going to use her as a scapegoat. I'll do it. Okay, good. I mean, is that good? I don't fucking know, man. I'm so confused. I don't know, but if you really do want to stop it, then let us go and then we talk. Captain, inbound vessel approaching defense perimeter. I mean, that would be a good gesture, right? If they let him go. This is Captain Teresa Yao of the MCRN Donager. They're jamming us. Ooh, I don't like that sound. Right? Wouldn't that be a good move? Or would that not be a good move to let them go? They, Earth, they don't know this, but Earth already has proof that they, it wasn't Mars, so... Well, fast movers detected. More than one ship, I count. Six Good bands. God, yeah, that thing is out of control. What the hell even is this? this launch alert. What's happening? That's battle mode lighting. Must be a drill. They changed the lighting for battle. I love this. <laughs> Torpedoes being fired. Torpedoes are away. Guidance lock on all targets. That is an interesting shaped ship. <laughs> it is interesting shaped, that ship. They took our people hostage. We have to get a ship there. The Orno goes on route at best possible speed, but they're still two days out. Ugh. It'll all be over by then. Somebody has a new fleet of warships. I concur. Any idea who it might be? Not yet. Keep me apprised. It's hard being a G-Ma having to uh, deal with these feelings, do with business. Gotta pretend like nothing's wrong. There's nothing to be scared of, you know. There's little rocks that burn up in the sky. They're not always so little. I worry about people who throw rocks. Nobody could throw rocks that big. It just happens sometimes because, you know, gravity. Oh, he's giving her a lesson. Come and play. I'll come and put you to bed. 
You're not fun. <laughs> My great uncle emigrated from Earth. He missed it terribly. He used to tell me stories when I was a little boy about these endless blue sky, free air everywhere. He's like talking all nice now. Open water all the way to the horizon. From irrigation to. I mean, he's relating to him. I could never understand your people. Why, when the universe has bestowed so much upon you, you seem to care so little for it. Reckon things for Earthers do best. Martians, too. Or look your ship. We are nothing like you. The only thing Earthers care about is government handouts. Free food, free water, free drugs, so that you can forget the aimless lives you lead. You're short-sighted. Destroy you. Becoming torpedoes and people. Wow. Wow. I guess he's not relating to him. He's just uh, giving him his point of view. Is there a problem? No, sir. It's just their Torp's guidance systems are really good, better than anything we ever simmed against. They're pushing our PDCs to the limit. Uh -uh. So who are these people? Nothing. Are they people? We have the rail guns. Let's finish this and go home. Aye, sir. Diverting power to rail guns. Like, we don't have time for that. I'm looking for busy Batiko. And you're not gonna find him here. Why are you Penza? Why are you Penza? Why are you Penza? Why are you Penza? <laughs> this is his place, right? So, yeah. Dad, you think? <laughs> I'm looking for a girl. Her name's Julie. She was a pilot. Oh. She might have come to busy to charter a ship. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> hey, assholes. Busy Batiko's dead. <laughs> oh, they don't care. He'd be out there. That busy Batiko. What's the reason? Oh, it, it is. <laughs> oh, so who's this guy? Oh, uh. I didn't realize that was the same name. Oh, this does not look good, man. That's supposed to happen? Wow, really? Mr. Johnson, the Latter-day Saints took a considerable risk hmm. hiring you to build the Nautilus. That goes spent up asteroids. We don't build ships. Not till now. But trust me, it'll be a ship no one will ever forget. That's not what I meant. I meant you. There have hmm. been rumblings that you should be replaced as head of operations for the project. Your ties to the OPA have been making a number of elders and the general authorities mm. uncomfortable, particularly in light of the recent events in the belt. The history of organized religion isn't exactly strife-free. I've been asked to request a new head of operations. Of course. If that's what you want. Who knows what tragic malfunctions might occur along the way. Was that a threat or a promise? <laughs> Or both. <laughs> For now, uh, please just continue along as before. Oh, yeah. Great. Yep, he'll do that. Get all the Mormons off the ship and get those sensors pointed toward the Doniger. I need a full report now. Huh. I think they're averting power to the rail guns. That means we're on CQB. What the hell is CQB? Close quarter battle. Oh. You'd be insane enough to take on the Doniger in CQB. Oh no, God, but damn, that one guy was working with the Mormons and now he... I'll be back with my people. Am I even finishing my sentences? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I'm like saying something and then I just get sucked in. Like that before. Is that the one? Is that the one that destroyed the Canterbury? Know for a badass Mickey Navy boy, you're a pretty whiny little. Bitch. <laughs> I was just a transport pilot, you Yahoo. You understand? I wasn't trained for this shit. This is a glorified bus driver, okay? <laughs> satisfied? Oh, 
Hey, 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 hey. Now he's passing the drugs. Huh? Like, oh yeah. A blunt? Trust me. We're all gonna be just fine. What happened? What happened? What? Oh my god, for a second I thought it was gonna end. Yeah. Oh my god. God, that's gotta be so infuriating to have to move that fucking slow in a, in a time like this. I would be dying. <laughs> oh. Well, at least they're working as a team now. Always trying to find the, the silver lining here. <laughs> oh god, right above his head. Not his head, his whole head hole. Oh my god, that was terrible, dude. He's just fucking trying to pass the, the drugs along and boom. Oh, he's headless. Oh, ew! That's fucking nasty, dude. What the fuck is going on? Are you boarding the ship? Reaching pods on deck. Yeah. Who is it? Is it the Mormons? They're too nice. Not gonna happen. Crushed out holes on both sides of the room, which means we're surrounded by hard vacuum. We're trapped. Maybe, maybe we can force the door. Again. Feels too well, you know that. Damn, we still be screwed because we don't have our pressure suits. What are you doing? Sedative. There's enough here to take one of us out, which will slow down their breathing and cut down our oxygen use. I'll do it. Maybe that's a little more extra time. Knock me out. Think someone's gonna come and get us? We don't have I'm just gonna be hyperventilating in my corner, so. We need you conscious. He's yeah, she's the best one. He uses the most air, he should do it. I can carry you, you can't carry me. Is it a shot? Ugh, I hate shots. I wanna wake up. I'm gonna backpack him? Backpack, backpack, just like Dora the Explorer. I don't know why I'm coming up with these Dora the Explorer's references all this <laughs> on another video too. <laughs> I want to say thank you for helping me all those times you did. Did he? What? Are you gonna specify? You're a good person. I could have been better. Is she OPA? It does matter. Get back and stay back and stay down. Oh, no. Hold it, stop. God damn it, hold it, get back here. Does he even know where he's going? Great. You found his ID. That's how it's supposed to work. It's not him. See, every time I sample the guy, I get a different ID comes up with a face that looks like it could be a match. Huh, I bet he has an ID spoof for Mon. They're designed to spin cops, waste our time chasing down false leads. The only guys mm. who really use them are crooks. Successful ones, they're not cheap. Can you help me ID him? Millie, like, you have a partner for this kind of stuff. No, he tried to have luck, he didn't want to be found. I'm the same from time to time. Please? Partner is dead. He is a spoofer, then he's probably got a bunch of other shady shit in him. Standard inner ear mic, spinal stabilizer. Oh, you can really modify your body, huh? No. Been sedentary. Ha. Huh. He's got a memory crypt in his calf. Let's take it out. Look at the corner. No. Oh. Guy talks too much. Oh, he wasn't very specific. Yeah. <laughs> Let her do it. Yeah. I like I'm hurting the guy. Bet you she's better though. There. Oh, there. This guy was a data broker. Well, whatever he brokered must have been important enough to get him killed. What are you not telling me? I hate it when you do this. 
Hey, look, uh, I don't care if you're up to your whatever and whoever, but um, when you come up for air, I'm gonna need you to- He is dead. Deed, okay? Nobody has found him. Details, but just you can be a devious son of a bitch when you wanna be. I do the same for you. Nobody cares. Oh, what? I'll get help. Somebody help. And get him help now? <laughs> oh my god. Well, at least he's alive. Oh, Jesus. He needs to move a little bit faster. I don't know if he can. He might not be able to, but it's giving me anxiety. <laughs> He's not. He's moving at a snail's pace. Is that somebody that I'm supposed to know? Let go. Don't make me shoot you. You won't. Good. Oh, that's fancy. Uh, you think? That is some fancy pants shit right there. Why did you destroy the Canterbury? Phoebe Station, were you there? Listen to me very carefully. If you want medical attention, you start speaking now. Well, I'll be dead soon. You came back. Of course I did. The deal is this. You will all testify that Mars had nothing to do with the Canterbury's destruction. Come on, buddy. He's going to do it. Keep his word. That's good. We all lost people we care about, and I don't even have a clue as to why. But I keep hearing about Phoebe Station, and if we're all going to die because of it, can't you at least tell me what the hell happened? Yeah, it would be now? nice. Mm-hmm. Donager was dispatched to Phoebe Station after she went silent for several weeks. Everyone on board was dead. Oh my god. We were incinerated. We found them refrozen to the walls of the ice tunnels. We thought it was a fire or a chemical spill, but then we discovered that all the computer cores were destroyed. You mean someone did it deliberately? They were covering something. <laughs> what happened? Yeah. The captain has set condition zero. She's gonna scuttle the ship. Mag boots off. Oh no, they're gonna get bombarded, huh? Oh no. Oh, he can't even do anything. Oh god. He is not useful. You can't. Oh god. You can't backpack him. He's too big. Who are these guys? Oh, this slow mo is killing me. <laughs> some flesh wounds legit ones this time oh no oh no uh, this is terrible all right There we go. Oh, yeah. What about the others? Yeah. We have to dust off now. Just him out of all those other guys? Wow. I'm not a pilot. Someone else needs to fly. What? Whoa. Go! Get off your sedative and do your thing. <laughs> Hope you're recovered. For everyone now on board. Go get yourself a cup of coffee. You got it. <laughs> Figure it out. Oh, it's gonna fucking end. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Who is stirring the pot here? 
And it's pointless for me to ask these questions. I don't even know enough about this to warrant an to get an answer. To even pretend to hypothesize. Evasive maneuvers. Max burn. Do not let anyone stay on our tail. You got it, Hoss. I mean, yes, sir. Hitachi is away. Sir? Captain, this door won't hold much longer. Yeah, fucking do your thing, man. I didn't think we could lose. Uh, oh, this sucks. At least it's quick and aimless. See, damn it. Uh, I just want to keep watching it forever. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm sorry if I keep asking all these questions. It's just as I'm like, I feel I, I know I don't have enough answer. No, I don't have enough information to answer them. I'm just asking them because obviously they filmed it to evoke question asking. Hence my questions. So I apologize if I ask them too frequently. But, and the guy is like, the one Martian is like hating on Earthers because of the free, all that stuff. I mean, I guess being from Earth gives you special, special privilege. Wow. Gives you special privileges. Is that like the, is that the hostility here? I mean, it's obviously there's two different cultures going on here, but I'm, I'm just now, obviously there's some sort of like resentment built up there over time and uh, a difference in uh, what? Philosophy, if you will. No, they're saying that Earthers uh, utilize resources and destroy it, and, and Martians are trying to develop that within Mars, and don't don't take it for granted and whatnot, or whatever you want to say, whatever the blame game is. They are playing the blame game, and it is not helping the situation because someone is able to play the fuck out of that and is screwing both parties, it seems. And that's no bueno, I would say. So, fuck. My my thing is, is how in the French has there been able, and I'm sure that's their question too at this point, right? How in the French is there able to be a, a group of people, an entity out there that was able to procure a whole bunch of these weapons and a fleet of things that are just in quiet? How is that even possible? I mean, it's space, right? You have a lot of space. <laughs> There's a lot of places that you can hide and be quiet, I suppose. But even then, you know, with the tech they have, I would assume like, it's just kind of nuts to just come out of nowhere and be like, hey, here I am. I'm going to start a war. I'm going to I'm going to stir the pot and make these two people who are already hating each other, hate each other even more. And, you know, they're completely blindsided here. And obviously it's got something to do with Julie Mao and her family, right? Yes. Crazy that what's his face, the cactus guy is alive. What the flying hell? What the hell is that about? He can survive that, but my girl from Squid Game? I'm not gonna say anymore. But what? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I'm just fucking flabbergasted. I feel like my brain is completely exploded. My brain did what that medic guy did <laughs> just exploded everywhere onto the wall. My question is, though, is why do they why are they building this ship uh, with uh, I think it was Mr. Johnson was the dude um, that they didn't like because he was with the OPA. Right. And all of this other hubbub, they're like, well, we don't like all of this attention that you're getting. But why are they building the ship? to what, for their missions? And then, but it seems like to me, if they're going through a, a station that's not traditionally used to build ships, if they don't do that, then why, why? Are, are they, I feel like they're keeping it on the DL if, if they're doing that, you know what I mean? I don't think they've even given a, a, enough clues as to who it could be, maybe. I mean, is it that fucking gangster plate people that fled a series? I mean, who knows? Sometimes they, you know, that underground money, man, you can make a lot of money. I don't, is it enough to surpass the ability of Earth and Mars? Probably not. <laughs> but, 
I guess if you team up with pirates, they've been talking about pirates this whole time. Is there like a Pirates of the Caribbean, but out in space going on here? It's nice to see them finally kind of like team up. It seems like they're able to get their shit together to effectively make decisions and survive these things. But it does suck that they're just they're pointing fingers and what's going on with the relationship between Naomi and Amos? I think that's his name. He's like, you know, thanking her for what she did to him in the past. And we don't know what that is. He's a big question mark. I don't know that we're even going to be able to find out who these people are because the people who are on board here are dead. And uh, there's probably some people following these guys. But then the closest ship that Earth has out there, I, she said that there's two days. Christian said it was they were two days out or some shit like that. So they can, they're not going to find that out. They're not going to find out who these mysterious folks are. I don't know who it would be. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad that they're, you know, working together. We still don't know if Naomi is OPA. You no, know, I mean, nobody is perfect. No lie. People have passed, man. People have done shit. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm just, just want to find out what's going to happen next episode. So uh, I guess I'm just going to have to leave it at that. I'm sorry if that discussion wasn't all that great. I just feel like uh, my mind is gone. I feel like my mind exploded and I don't know where to go. And I there's just a big question mark as to what the hell is going on. Anyways, I want to go ahead and keep watching and I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.